The Pali Canon is a collection of literature that's used in Buddhism, most uh, importantly in Theravada Buddhism, which was originally collected orally uh, and then later written down. And much of it, though not all of it, has been translated into English. You can read it in books like the Connected Discourses of the Buddha, um, etc. Uh, and it's split into various portions. The Vinaya uh, section, Pitaka, constitutes those sections which deal with discipline, which the life of monks and nuns have to live together. The Sutta Pitaka contains, and in many ways is the most important and certainly is the most read, the instructions to monks and nuns um, on, and to lay people on what to do. It contains, many people would like to believe who are devout Buddhists, Buddha Vachana, the word of the Buddha. It's the teachings the Buddha gave during his lifetime. It's the sutras, um, at least that's what Buddhists believe that he gave, and many of them are teachings the Buddha gives to a group of people. The third portion, the Abhidharma Pitaka, which seems to come later, uh, historically, uh, and is translated literally as the higher teachings, contains within it a much more uh, rarefied version of the teachings, and in many ways has a much more specialist audience. It seems to strip the teachings of all their local colour and place, and just have the kind of pure teachings laid out in quite a tabulated, organised uh, form, uh, which actually to read can be really problematic and really rather dry. Uh, as I said, the Sutta what we would call the Sutras um, of the Pali Canon, are by far the most read and contain the material that most of us are probably most familiar with.